Welcome back everyone. After our introductory session on financial modeling, we now move on to the construction of the income statement from scratch. The income statement is the first of the three financial statements that we will be building with an assumption section that will contain the drivers for each of the respective line item of the income statement. Now remember, our focus is not just building the model, but doing so in the most efficient manner by applying various tips and tricks that I will share with you as we build the model together. We begin by having a quick glance at the raw data in front of us. We have the line items of the income statement along with the retained earnings, aka appropriation account. The period is of five years and we too will be forecasting for the next five years as that is a suitable time frame for both our VAR forecast and valuation. The scale is in thousands, which is fine. But I want to show you a quick way to convert thousands into millions and that will be the scale in our model. It is also mentioned that the tax rate is to be assumed at 5% and every year we shall be transferring 10% of the net income to the statutory reserves. On your keyboard you can press shift plus F11 to start on a new sheet. Let's rename the sheet using the shortcut alt O H R one after the other. We can visualize what we want on this sheet. We want a meaningful representation of the income statement here. We want the assumptions below and we want the CAGR and the trend analysis on the right hand side. This will also be the order of our construction. We want to create a report like appearance, hence we'll make certain changes to the format. You can click at the intersection of the headings that will select the entire sheet. You can change the color to a second level of gray. You can go to view and also remove the grid lines. When we come back to home, we want to reduce the width of column A to two inches with the shortcut Alt, O, C, W, Enter, Two, Enter. We will enter the main title, I, N, C, O, N, E, S, T, A, T, E, M, E, N, T, Control, Enter. We'll make it bold. And then we'll also increase the size to 22. That will be the standard title of all sheets in our model. We can quickly navigate through sheets using Control Page Up and Page Down. Using the Shift and Control button, pressing it, and using the arrow keys, we can select the two tables easily. Press Control C, go back, and then paste the table. We will now remove the borders by pressing Alt H B N. Then we will increase the width of column B by pressing Alt OCW and changing that to 35. This will be constant across all sheets. Now to change the scale from thousand to millions, you would have to go to each cell, delete this decimal, shift it three paces to the left hand side, enter it, and then change all the numbers in the same fashion. However, the fastest way to do it will be go to awaken cell and enter 1000. Control enter to stay on that cell. You press Control C and you select all the numbers from the income statement and press Control alt v i v there we have it and for similarly for appropriation account select all the numbers and press f4 now it's important for us to change the scale and write million we can delete this thousand we can quickly enter the forecast shares with letter f the f stands for forecast drag it for 5 years press control 1 you go to customs, you delete everything, enter zero and write F. Now we will color this green. Text will be white, ensure the row is bold. Now the forecast section will also have a lighter shade of green that will not merge with the text. We will copy paste this entire section that will be useful in our assumptions section. Now we don't have to enter the years again. Instead, the most suitable approach will be to go to C4, view, and then click on freeze plane. Now this will be much more useful, not just vertically, but horizontally as well once we create our trend analysis. We can change this to assumptions. And we will link all the line items in the income statement to the assumption section. We go to C4, enter the equal to sign, and then simply click on the corresponding cell below. And then you can just drag this formula across 
all the line items and the years. And that completes the first segment of today's video on the income statement. In our next segment, we will have a slightly more detailed discussion on the assumption section.